Our final speaker, well, actually our second to last because our honoree will be the final speaker. He's a television host, producer, actor, and comedian. He's really one of the busiest people in the business. He currently hosts, and this will give away who he is, the Steve Harvey Morning Show, Family Feud, Celebrity Family Feud, and Family Feud Africa. Please welcome to the stage a man who has his own star on the Walk of Fame. Survey says it must be Steve Harvey. Always, baby. Always. Hey, y'all, uh, listen. I'm, I'm going to face the people because I don't know how to work. No other way. Listen, come here, man. I'm here because uh, me and this brother was out the country recently, and I walked in the room, and he said, hey, man, I want you to do me a favor. I'm going to get a star. Would you come? So I fixed my schedule so I could be here. Uh, my only regret I ever made not coming to one of these was when Cedric the Entertainer got one. I was out the country then. But let me tell you something about this brother right here. This brother is the lick. He is the reason a lot of us are standing out here today. If you are in stand-up comedy, if you have held the mic since the Def Jam days, you are a debt of gratitude to this brother right here because this dude was the reason. He, Martin Lawrence was the reason that Def Jam was a huge success. See, no matter who the act was, the acts could suck. But Martin Lawrence breathed life into that night, man. This dude right here was the greatest mimicker of all times. He could take a situation and turn it into comedy. If you were sitting on that front row and one of the acts had just went off and he just stunk up the room, Martin fixed it, man. This dude's improv ability is surpassed by none in the business. You're looking at the coldest mimica ever born in the comedy industry today, and that's that damn Martin Lawrence right here. Please understand, I know what I'm talking about. I do this here. These cats over here, they do this. They know who this dude is. This is the legitimate truth, man. I've never met a cat that was more humble with it. They gave more black people opportunities in Hollywood. That Martin show gave producers opportunities, cameramen opportunities. He gave caterers jobs. He gave wardrobe people jobs. That show was black from the front of the time your ass came through that gate to the back. He hired us and made us recognize it. Then they made him the highest paid sitcom star after um, okay, Bill Cosby. Um, I, I was going good. And, but still, Bill's still great, though, regardless as to what happened. But he started making that kind of money. And I jumped in the sitcom game. I never made his money because I just couldn't make a bigger hit as him. But he has been an inspiration to me. He has inspired thousands. Def Jam spawned more stars than any comedy genre in the history. The Kings of Comedy was born out of Def Jam. All them cats over there was born out of Def Jam. Everybody you see today was born out of Def Jam, and they was born out of Def Jam because this man right here made that show the most incredible piece of work in comedy in this history. Martin Lawrence, uh, Trishina said, I didn't know he didn't have a star. Shit, if this dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> If this dude don't have a star, they need to take all of them up out the ground, dig all these damn things up. Ladies and gentlemen, Martin Lawrence is that dude.